This is the busiest day of the year for the post office, so if you want your gifts and letters to arrive by Christmas, today is the day you need to get them in the mail. Early Show financial contributor Vera Gibbons is here with some tips. Good morning. Good morning. Today's the day you want to get them in the mail so that you don't have to spend extra money. Right. For ground. For UPS, the deadline is today. For the U.S. Postal Service, it's tomorrow. You don't want to wait because then it becomes prohibitively expensive. We price it out at a 25-pound box, FedEx, UPS. If you wait until the umpteenth moment, a couple hundred dollars. And for a 75-pound box, twice that. So you want to get out those packages as soon as possible. Now, go over some <clears> deadlines <throat> for us. They start for, you know, tomorrow, tom today, tomorrow, right. and they go up to the 23rd, but that's when it becomes ridiculously expensive. Now, the most economical way, Maggie, is actually through the post office. Consumer reports found that the rates are actually cheaper than UPS and FedEx. They have the flat rate on the boxes, on the envelopes from under $5 to under $17. 70 pound limit, but you can send these packages anywhere. So if you're sending a lot of gifts to one family, mm -hmm. that is the way to go. And, and right the, through the postal service. The latest you can ship through the postal service is? Also the 23rd. Also the 23rd. Yep. Very good. So to you know. do have time. Okay. Good for me to know. <laughs> what about if you're shopping online? So many websites offer free shipping. When does that expire? Yeah, those pretty much expire this week. Okay. So you want to get those orders out as soon as possible. All right. If mm -hmm. you're shipping gifts like I am, how, how can we pack them so that they get there intact? That's very important, packing it the right way, because if you have fragile items in there and they break, then you've got an unhappy <laughs> recipient here. So it starts with proper cushioning. You want to have your bubble tape, you bubble wrap, you want to have your packing pillows, two inches of cushioning per item. Um, and, and lots of ways to do lots that. Lots of ways to do things. that. And there's a good site, site to go to if you need extra supplies, uline.com, because a lot of people underestimate exactly what they need to get What's those packages. What's that website? uline.com. U as in the letter yeah, U? Yeah, it's okay. a great site to go if you need those last minute supplies. And people do underestimate what they need. If you think your box cannot actually survive a drop three feet onto concrete, it is properly, it is probably not properly packed. Oh, Just an FYI. Oh, that's a good rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. All right, the box. The box and is the also tape. important because people just throw their stuff into any old box. That's not good. <laughs> it's, it's, it has lost its strength. So you want a new box, a corrugated box, one that is in very good condition. You've got your weight limit there so you know exactly mm. how much you can actually put in there. Tape, also very important. People make the mistake of using any old tape that's around the house, duct tape, cellophane tape. You want to use proper packing tape, proper two inches. Proper packing tape. That's what the two experts inches. like. What about if you're sending cookies or goodies <laughs> home? A lot of people are doing that this year, baked goods, <laughs> keeping it on the cheap here. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> yes, it is the thought that counts. <laughs> baked goods, cheese, fruits, all of that stuff in an airtight container or a plastic bag before you put it into the box and then into the shipping box. Ideally, Maggie, you want to send this stuff out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right. and you want to send it out overnight and marked perishable. Good. What about if you have something you can't? pack yourself. Like right. This. If you have something like this or if you have an odd shaped item like skis or golf clubs or something and you have no idea how to pack it, there are experts out there that will do it for you. They'll pack for you, yeah. Yeah, FedEx, Kinko's, UPS, they all have these authorized shipping centers. Now, it will cost you more, but they will guarantee that it will get there on time and in one piece. All right, Vera Givens, thank you so Thanks, much. Maggie. If you want more information on holiday shipping deadlines, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.